Hey y'all, my name is Nick Kroba, my pronouns are he, him, his, and you can call me Nick or Mr. Nick, whichever you like. I work half-time at Milwaukee High School in Ma and half-time at Rex Putnam High School. Um, that means that I'll be working with Milwaukee students for the first and third quarter and Putnam students for the second and fourth quarter this year. I currently teach ceramics at Milwaukee and ceramics and photo at Rex Putnam. A little bit about me, I'm a proud queer person, teacher, artist, bird and dog dad, and all around animal lover. I love creating in many forms and work mostly in ceramics and photography, which is why I love teaching those classes. I also love to write um, and I'm constantly learning new mediums and expressing myself through many different forms. I'm obsessed with music, but I don't currently play any instruments, unfortunately. I really miss going to live shows and dancing, still dancing alone at home, um, but I miss being in a crowd and hearing live music. I love to be outside hiking, biking, kayaking, swimming, and I also enjoy reading or just streaming a show on the couch. It's really important for me to state that all black lives matter, gender is a construct, there are all different and wonderful types of sexuality in our diverse world, and I am an ally to all my students, which means I will fight in and out of school for the rights of students and all people. Sometimes this looks like me protesting, sometimes this looks like me making art as a way to create visibility for marginalized communities. It means that I am always intentional when I create lessons. It means that I dig deep to find and deconstruct my own biases that I'm always open to feedback from students and parents and colleagues. It means that I'm gonna make mistakes, but I will learn from them and grow to be better. I became a teacher because I love people and because I didn't have any positive queer representation when I was growing up. I hope that I can be a positive role model to all my students, and I can't wait to get to know all of you amazing people this semester. Um, some things to expect in synchronous and asynchronous learning. I plan to do a flipped classroom, uh, which means my demonstration videos for the projects will be pre-recorded for students to watch during asynchronous learning. So that's going to be the learning that students are mostly doing on their own um, without being in a video meet with me and other students. Um, the synchronous Learning time will be a time for students to connect with each other, have discussions about artwork and concepts, and ask questions. During synchronous learning, I will also be able to give clarifying demonstrations if needed. So I know some people are, may have trouble with just watching the videos um, that are pre-recorded. The synchronous time will be a time that I can show anyone how to do anything with the materials that we have for projects. So that's a really brief overview of what synchronous and asynchronous learning will be this quarter, and I'm going to explain a lot more during our first week of online learning. Um, if you go to the high school set schedule that should have been sent out in your email, you can see my office hours, and they're going to be half an hour after each synchronous learning class. Um, during that time, you'll be able to connect with me and just pop into the Google Meet. Or you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one video meeting with me if you like. Um, Wednesday is the other day that you'll be able to connect with me from 10.45 to 11.45. So that's an hour time slot that you'll be able to connect with me. Um, I, again, will go over more of this during our first week of classes together, so you'll know how to sign up, um, and you will know how to connect through Google Meet. Although I know many of you signed up for a ceramics class, it's not feasible for most of us to be able to work with clay at home. But this gives us, a, us an opportunity to explore many other different types of sculpture through mixed media, which I super love. Um, this means that we're going to be using a lot of different materials to create sculptures this quarter. For those of you that are watching this from Putnam who are taking my photography class, we will have a lot of the same projects that we usually have during the um, semester. And you'll be able to either use your um, 
phone, if it's a smartphone, any digital camera that you have access to, or you can check out a digital camera from the school. This is the COVID mask that I wore all summer to protect myself when going outside. Pretty extensive. Just kidding. I've just been wearing a cloth mask like most people. Um, but I wanted to show you this because this is going to be one of our projects that we're doing. We're going to be making paper mache masks, probably for our last project, I hope. Um, this is a paper mache mask that's a self-portrait that I made. I like to call it my self-portrait Medusa because um, it's got snakes making up all of my hair, my mustache, my eyebrows, and my hair hair. Um, I love this mask. I'm really excited to see the mask that all of you make in our class. This is an example of another project that we're going to be doing this semester. This is made out of Sculpey clay, which is a plastic air dry clay that some of you may have used before. It's pretty fun and accessible. Um, this was made by one of my good friends who gave it to me, cute little gruesome sea creature. Each project this quarter, this semester, is going to be about two weeks long depending on the content of the project, but that's around what it'll be. You're going to be provided with a supply kit that will have all the materials you need. Hopefully by late September or early October, I'm not going to require you to have any materials um, for the first projects that we do until you get those kits, so don't worry about that. I am super excited to teach, learn, and create with you all. Um, my email is right here. So it's hurlbuttnick at nclath.k12.or.us. Um, that's h-u-r-l-b-u-t-n at n-c-l-a-c-k dot k12.or.us. And you can find this email and um, the staff contact list. That's going to be the best way to contact me. I'm pretty prompt with email. I check it multiple times a day, every day. Um, so that's the best way to ask me any questions. Let me know of any concerns that you have. You're also going to have a chance after you watch this video um, to ask me any questions or convey any concerns during the Q&A portion. Thank you so much for bearing with me and checking this video out. Uh, now get ready for an amazing year of creating with comprehensive distance learning. Whoop whoop!